everybody. I'm back. <laughs> you can guess where I am, can't you? I'm here. <laughs> I'm in Cumberland. Once again. Anyway. I thought I'd make a return trip back to just have a wee catch up in the place and see how it is now. I've not been here for a few months. Yeah, as I say, I haven't been here for a few months. Um, I just want to go see how it is nowadays. See how it is today. It doesn't look like there's been much of an improvement since the last time. Yeah, look. Look at this. This is part of the old... Um, this is the old lift. My goodness. It really is in a sorry state, this building, it really is. I take it that lift's dead. Yeah, that's gone. That's gone forever, that now. <sighs> what can you say, eh? There's enough of that, there's enough up here isn't there? Just burnt out lights and stuff. There's an awful lot of that in Cumberland. Oh there's some more for there. It is in a hell of a state the wind, isn't it? It really is. It never fails to shock me this place how how bad it is. You know, it's just a complete mess. I can, I really don't think this building's going to be here for much longer. I really don't. I think its days are numbered. Well and truly numbered. There's some more waffle there. See, I haven't found this part before. This is the, the loading bay. Wow, well, I wonder what's down there. So we have a look. Let's have a wee wander down here. Eh? It's very, very dark in here, so it's not going to. There's not an awful lot of light. Oh, there's a right musty smell in this one. Really musty, dank, morbid smell. Even the lights don't work. <laughs> it's hard to think this town was so ahead of its time back in the sixties. I know I've said this before, but it's it's fell so hard, Cumberland. It really has fell. It's fallen down so badly now. It's just beyond saving. There's so many nooks and crannies in this building. It reeks a... I'm not going to say what it smells like, but it smells like S-H-I-T. <laughs> and P-I-S-H. <laughs> oh my god. How could a building get in such a bad way? Really, it's beggar's belief.
For anyone that's not a film Cumberland, um, obviously people from here would know about it. But under the street, there's an old there's an old tunnel. You see where those vents have over there on the street. See them sticking out the road. That's the old underpass that used to connect both sides of the road. But you would never know because it's gone. Yeah. yeah, it never feels to make me sad this place. Sad and depressed that it's, that it's got to such a bad way now. Yeah. Anyway. Let's carry on. You know, to get this building up to scratch it would take millions of pounds and a lot of work and you wonder sometimes is it even worth it because look at the mess I and mean, look at the dirt it really is a pretty unhealthy place I mean I love it but <laughs> it's only because it's a brutalist building I love it <laughs> I certainly don't love it for its looks now because it's sad now it's really sad that it's come to this I don't even know what's down here. I'm just having a wonder. See where this takes me. Don't know where this goes. God. It really is bad in here. Smell, it smells awful. It smells like musty, rancid, decaying concrete, just awful, awful. Okay, let's... So here we are. Here we are indeed.
Yeah, so anyway, this is just a passing visit. I'm not going to be here for long. I'm just, I'm just out to have a quick look. You know, there's not really much else I can do here. I've done everything I can in Cumberland. Really, it's pretty much just a catch up now. That's all it is. There is one thing about living in Cumberland that it'll keep you fit. I'll, I'll, I'll give you that. Uh, right, let's have a think. <clears throat> okay. A long walk. <laughs> it's a long walk up here. Well, they've changed some of the lights. That's an LED light now. That wasn't there the last time. It's the only one that has been changed. The rest of it's all still the same. That's where I've just came from down there. How can a building get in such a bad way? As I keep saying, I blame North Lancashire Council for this. And this is all they're doing. Now look at this. This part of the ramp isn't too bad in condition. You can see the damage up in the concrete here. I'm just amazed that nothing's improved. Nothing at all. Everything's still as horrible as ever. And neglected as ever. I've already been in there, so there's no point coming back in there again. I, lo I love all this design now. That's really cool, isn't it? Is this back open again? Yeah, it is. This was closed for a while. Is this open or closed? No, it's open. Yeah, there we go. This is about as close as I'm going to get to the Falcon, I think. It's looking really bad up there, isn't it? 
you can see the damage on it look it's all the dirt and the mess and pigeons everywhere yeah Now this was the chase scene in Cumbernauld Hit, you know how the Cumbernauld News, the Cumbernauld News office, that's it in there, that's it there. And you wouldn't recognise it now though, because it's all changed. What's going on? Yeah. Right. Yep, it's not looking good. It's not looking good at all, is it? So that's closed off permanently as well now, that. That never seems to be open now. Mind you, I've been up there anyway, so I know what that is like up there. It's a very empty space now, isn't it? Very empty. So we can go up to that floor, isn't it? I think. Actually, you know what? Let's have a wee look. Yeah. Yeah, it's not looking any better, is it? It's definitely not looking any better. It's got to see. <sighs> Hello cameras. Yeah, this is about as close as we'll get. This is about as close as we'll get to the Falcon, I'm afraid. That's it. Yeah, it's looking pretty. Oh. I can only imagine how bad it is in there. I mean, it must be really bad in there with pigeons and stuff. You wouldn't think that was a restaurant, would you, back in the 60s and that, 70s? You'd never know. Oops. No, you'd never know. There's just no possible way up to that level once, unfortunately. If there was, I would have been up there by now. As I keep saying, it's been a challenge just trying to get anywhere in Cumberland now. Because everything's just locked up nowadays. Right. Yeah, I think this building is really 
I think it's I mean what can you say it's just done isn't it it's done it's done for it really does smell bad in here right it sure does I'm going to have to edit another sound it, I'm afraid. This is a top car park. Whoops. This is a top car park. It's looking a bit grim, isn't it? Yeah. See the um, yeah. Oh, there's an old lift here. See that? I wonder if that works. Nah, it's knackered. Knackered, completely knackered. All these lights are broken down here as well. I think basically what they're doing is when the lights burn out, they're just not they're just not born to replace the lights because they're knackered anyway. And fluorescent tubes have been done away with now. It's all LED now. So it's just this what we have here. Yeah, I was going to say, see the waffle here? It's different from down there. Look, see if you look at the waffle, it's kind of square. Yeah, right? But if you go to this part, it's more kind of moulded round. See it? It's more like kind of... It's a different style. Damage up there as well. Hey, let's just get in this way now. St Mungo's Church. That's a nice church, I like that one.
I think that, that's quite nice. The lights. Let's go. What's doing here? Hmm. Where does this go? <coughs> I've not been here before. What's down here? Nothing. <laughs> dead end. A dead end. <coughs> These stairs, I don't know where these go either. Look. Hmm. Do the other been down here There we go. It's got a juggling jack for us. Now this sums up Cumberland. There's lights all over this place. Hear the pigeons? I think the pigeons are up there somewhere. Yeah, you can hear them. Hear them? Actually, they're in here. Listen. Can you hear them? This is one of the original parts of the centre. Aye. As I say, that was the way up to the fourth floor, but again, it's Mission Impossible, isn't it? Unless, I mean, nah, I'm not going to risk it. I'm not going to risk it. Yeah. Burnt out lights, eh? they're everywhere. And see the smell in here? I can't describe it, but it's like it's like pee urine. It's really strong. I'm actually strolling to. Eh? Yeah. Anyway, let's go. I don't know what's over here. I don't think I can get in there anyway. No. 
I don't think that's no, it's locked up. There's too many cameras in here. That's a problem. Don't even. See, that left this work, but. Where does it go? There's an old speaker up there as well. Just noticed. Is that a good lift? Is that actually working? This is one of the original underpasses. If you look at the concrete in here, it's exactly the same as the, the ramps in the centre, see that? It's exactly the same. I'm going to go and have a look at the, the Cabrain totem. Yeah, that's North Cabrain. That's still pretty much as how it was when it was built. It's still original. That was one of the things about the new towns is that the safety aspect was that pedestrians walked under the road, not across the road. You know, that was the whole point. And all new towns are like this. Not just here. <clears throat> yeah. That's one of the original underpass ashes as well, see that? You see that in Gregory's girl, don't you, all the bricks? Across. You can see a lot of the bones are starting to look a bit old and tired now, aren't they? It doesn't, um, it's not aged very well coming along, it's really not aged very well at all. But that's partly down to poor management by the council. There used to be more of these, but there's only, I don't know how many are left now. I think there's only a few left in coming out, well, one or two I think. This is the only one I've found so far. It's interesting though, isn't it? It's got a, it's got a lot of weird things on it.
Okay, let's carry on and see where we can go now. I've not been to Millcroft yet, so I might have a wheel wander down there and see. That's quite damaged that building over there. See it? That's a bit of dampness and rot setting. I wish I had a time machine and could go back to 1967 when it was all just built and film it then. <laughs> that would have been great. <laughs> but uh, sadly, time machines haven't been invented yet. Look at the damage on some of the boards. It's just an absolute shambles, isn't it? There he is. It's hard to imagine, isn't it? This town won architectural awards and that back in the 60s, you know, and to look at it now, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty difficult place, pretty de neglected looking. See, back in the 60s, people flocked here from, from, from Glasgow, you know? because back in the 60s, Glasgow was run down, and it was it was really not a very attractive city back then. And Cumbernauld was the new beginning for so many people, and it was for a long time. Well, not a long time, but it was it was for a while. It was it was doing okay, but then obviously the 70s ended. And Tory government and all the rest of it <laughs> didn't help. This is Milkcroft we're heading out now. direction um, is Ebon Hill. Um, yeah. Give me a look back at my old videos now uh, from the ones I made before I come along in the 70s and that. When you look at it now, it's a different town, completely different from what it was like. It doesn't even feel the same or look the same. It's um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a pity it's went bad like this. The thing is with new towns, though, they only stay new for so long and then eventually they start to fall apart. You know, they're not built to last forever, these towns. You know, it's like in the Lego set built town, you know, it's... I don't think it was meant to really last any longer than, I don't know, 50, 60 years. And that's it, it's at that age now. Um, but it's starting to show its age now. I just still love it though because it's got the modernism that I look for. You know, there's no many other towns like this. Yeah, 
that she's not cuffed. This is Millcroft. I think this might be Millcroft Road actually. Makes you wonder, doesn't it, how the hell it's got in this state? I mean, it really is appalling that Cumberbelt has been, has been let go of this. It really is. Bad. I think this is where the fire was. There was a fire here a couple of well, years ago. <laughs> wow, look at this. It's hard to think you're in a new town, isn't it? It really is. It's, um, I'm kind of speechless for this place really, I don't really don't know what to say. Apart from that's in the original light up there. <laughs> yeah. I think this back humble could be could be doing with getting me developed. It really is poor looking, isn't it? I mean, when you watch Gregory's Girl from 1980, the town didn't look that bad then, did it? But now it's just... Uh, I don't know what to say about this place. It's, I mean... I don't know. It's just an awful state. And I feel sorry for the people that have to live here, and have to put up with this. North Lanarkshire Council, once again. See, this bridge was in town for tomorrow as well. That's one of the original bridges. Some original concrete over there as well. There's a wall like that up at the, the Sacred Heart Church as well. Or Church of the Sacred Heart, sorry. Is this a dead end? Look at this. What this one?
Tak, no mamy dwie godziny oplecić. There's another one of the old light fittings as well. That's that's PV, that's from the 60s or 70s, whenever. There's lights like that up at nine miles. Yeah, it's not quite the utopian town it was, was it? Was it? It really isn't. Not anymore. Right, we're now in Seafarn now. Again, this was in time for tomorrow as well. And there's a tour Corby's pub. That's on right. There's McTaggart Road up here. I'm doing a lot of walking to do. <laughs> I'm going to head back to the centre now. I'm only down here for a little while. Just to um, get a look <laughs> at the place again. 
Oh. I'm still missing this cold as well. So I'm not feeling my best. I just love all this, all these cobbles and things. I mean, all this looks kind of original, doesn't it? The only thing it gives it away for being up to date is the uh, street lights are not now changed. But that's about all. So this is the roof of phase four. I didn't really get a lot of this in last time. Um, and this part of the building was near. Uh, sorry, this part of the centre was added later on. This looks like an old uh, community centre or church. That's a church. This looks like the original town, centre, uh, town development. Yeah. 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 Founded in 1965. It's Cumbernauld Congregational Church. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Oh, I've got a sweep. And there we go, back to there again.
people going this way? And we're back to here again. Yeah, it really is hard to think that in a few years this will all be gone. But I think it's time has come now because it... The more I look at it, the more I see it's just... It's really, really decayed badly. Really badly. Yeah, uh, like I say, that was that was the ramp going down to uh, fa the original phase one where the Gobraith stores was. Look at the pigeons up there. There's loads of them. You can only imagine what it's like up in the Falcon. It must be absolutely rank up there. I mean, the pigeons have been habitating up there for quite a few years now. Some mess, isn't it? Oh, tell me about it.